orcs that don't repeat what i encounter you won't encounter and my allies won't be your allies and the ones who helped me capture the fortress might not even appear in your gameplay or story yes i'm talking about shadow of war today you know now i know it is an old game by this point to discuss but i believe it is important you know to keep talking about games uh, no ma- no matter their age or release dates now this game is not only good but has a lot of content filled to the brim and the map is also bigger than the previous game but along with pointing the good aspects of this game i would also like to talk about the problems so welcome to game over everything i am nishan kotai and we are going to discuss the goods and the bads of this game first the good ones the graphics the gameplay and the voice acting is top notch you know just like the previous iteration shadow of mordor only better here i personally like how the cut scenes in the game you know feel like watching a good lord of the rings movie along with increasing the size of the world it was necessary to evolve the transportation options in the game as well and the addition of drakes which are nothing but dragons was a neat trick in their sleeve you know and added to give an idea about the map size which was very huge the meticulously developed nemesis system you know was the cherry on the top easily a unique selling point of it but it wasn't all merry as the game had launched with micro transactions now i really don't like the inclusion of such hidden purchases you know which seem to affect nothing because why are they there in the first place if they don't affect the core gameplay they are there to tease you and you know to just you know turn that dial so that you you know they can test the players when they will actually buy the micro transactions so i don't think there is any denying that the inclusion of these micro transactions hurt the quality of the game as they were deeply and directly tied to the late game progression and it could have been easily bloated the length of the game you know by forcing us us to replay taking over the orcs and recruiting them and this loop gets boring you know after recruiting the 100th orc you know by destroying the older ones and leveling up to the level so that you know and to level up the orc you had to make them recapture the fortresses you know and i don't know on what instance of recapturing the fortress because i lost count of how many times i must have did that tirelessly now the game you know becomes a becomes a chore to grind and that is not a good thing to be associated with the game now the removal of micro transactions did happen but it was too little and too late and the damage was already done and uh, i'm not saying that the game was the and this game was the only one doing it there were other games too like deus ex mankind divided which had praxis kits which you could buy with real money you know to upgrade adam jensen which was a really bad thing you know in form of in game purchases now my point being about this video is that why are they here in the first place in a single player game you know where we all we need is a fucking story you know a set of side quests and activities in the game world and a good experience to take away at the end of it now i know the answer is making money you know and when will the corporates realize that a good game makes more than enough money to make even profits you know for example games like god of war horizon zero dawn spider man ghost of tsushima last of us and even witcher 3 which is like 6 years old at the point when i am discussing this it even irritates me to see that you know that store screen that thing store written in a single player game that shouldn't be a menu at all you know which has no need of exploitative micro transactions or need of buying anything in that single player game i personally have a lot of understanding and leniency you know in terms of having cosmetic skins in free to play games you know as they are well uh, free to play when it is done in good games like shadow of war which had so much potential for being an epic game you know and was just being let down by greed now i know i must be you know uh, seeming a bit too uh, you know uh, unusual for the kind of uh, uh, kind of videos i do but this topic you know has been pricking me you know the, this micro transaction injecting them in a single player game but i am hoping you know if there is another game in the series then it better not have a store at all but we know it is wishful thinking and there will be a new way that these companies will find to inject micro transactions in the game and the actual improvements and upgrades you know which we sh- which they should have cared about and which we look forward to will always take a back seat 
well that is it for this video guys let me know your thoughts on this game and to be frank i purchased this game only last year you know because i didn't want to shell out full price for this game so you know just let me know your thoughts in the comments be sure to join me next week as i bring you more content stay subscribed and guys please do leave a like if you like the video and i appreciate you stopping by weekly to you know watch my videos and you know hear my thoughts so that's it for this one guys take care